So this year I have a nuclear fallout shelter theme in one of the vignettes in the home haunt. So I found a Geiger counter on eBay for pretty cheap. I think I paid about $20 for this. And they did say that it worked, but it didn't have a battery. But I was mostly interested in this just for the prop value. Of course, in a dark Halloween haunt, you're probably not really even going to know what you're looking at so I wanted to modify it a little bit I wanted to put some lighting in the gauge so I pulled that out as you can see I pulled out a lot of the innards because I wanted to add some lighting and then a little speaker with uh, just a loop of maybe the the Geiger uh, counter uh, sound in the background so I just used a, uh, a cutoff um, wheel there and just cut a little notch in the housing for the gauge and then I filed that down with a mini file and then put some uh, miniatronics uh, warm light I think they're a 12 light or a 12 volt bulbs in there as you can see just hot glued them in place uh, this is very similar to what I've done on the other static kind of mad scientist panel type props and that and um, I wanted to add some lighting and just make this somewhat unique and interesting uh, for when people were walking by. So I used a step bit on a drill press to uh, drill a couple holes for some low voltage lighting. And uh, Radio Shack sells uh, these uh, LEDs. You can get red or green or amber and these particular ones have a built-in resistor which is nice so you don't have to do any soldering. Um, I'm just for the power connection if you want to of course and then I found this speaker at uh, a thrift store this was literally 99 cents as you can see I just pulled that apart and pulled the uh, had two little speakers and I uh, just used one of them I didn't need much for the um, the sound I'm going to wire everything with uh, this 9 volt battery. Uh, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of, or actually a 9 volt uh, wall wart, sorry. I'm not a huge fan of batteries just because they sit uh, over time. And uh, if you forget about them, you don't take them out while your Halloween prop sits for the year, that's possible that they could leak and um, damage your contacts or whatever. And then you have to uh, replace uh, your battery. On just about every single prop that you have and batteries can get expensive and the wall warts are cheap as I mentioned before it's uh, 99 cents you don't have to worry about your lighting getting dim or your batteries running out in the middle of your haunt so it's just my preferred way of doing things so this is the nuclear fallout shelter uh, also the entrance to the mad scientist laboratory you can see I'm almost done with all my brickwork here and this table and chair is scratch built just out of fence boards and then I used a one by one for the chair posts. So this is a scene coming up from the Halloween night walkthrough. Just got some static props there just to make it more interesting and uh, got some glow sticks in a wooden ammo box that I made out of fence boards and then this is the Geiger counter with all the lights on so it turned out pretty good. <laughs> 